And in this video we're looking at Plickers. Plickers allows you to check students' understanding with only one device, and that is your phone or tablet. And you use that to scan some cards, which I'll show you momentarily, and you can then see how students have responded. So first off, we need to log on to the website. And this is the Plickers website. And the first thing you need to do is let's go through and show you all of the different areas. So within library, we can add our questions. So we can see our questions are there, multiple choice questions. You can create folders if you've got a number of different question sets. If we then go to reports, we can question history and, and score sheets. So if we've asked questions in the past, we can see how learners have done. If we go to classes, we have the ability to add students and add classes. It's very easy. We can either just enter a student's name here or we can add to roster and add them first name, last name, all the way through. And then each learner gets assigned a card and that's quite important. So there's a bit of work there. The cards need to be printed out and you can laminate those with a matte finish laminate and then they're able to be used again and again and it's about making sure each learner uses a specific number so you understand who's responding in a particular way. So live view would allow the what was happening on the app to be seen and, you, and we'll come to that in a later video. So first off the cards I'm referring to. This is what a card looks like. There are a number of different sets available. I've gone with a standard free set which provides me with 40 cards. One half is one card so that shape is one card and the other shape is another. Each card has a number beside it of a reasonable size that tells you the number of the cards so you know which learner should have it and then it has four sides to this shape and depending on how the learner holds it will depend how they respond to the question that you're asking. So first step is to download the pack and print it out then having done that you go to your classes you create your class and add your students. Then we come to the library and we add our questions in. Then we're ready to swap to the mobile app. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump across to the mobile app and I'll join you again using the mobile app to show you how we can use it with our learners. So thanks for watching this part and I'll see you momentarily in the app. So I've logged on. I've opened up the app, uh, having logged on to my Plickers account. It's then brought up my classes, so I can choose which class I want. I can then go to, I can either create questions or I can go library. I can then choose the question I want to ask the students to answer. And then when I'm ready, that could be on displayed on the screen. Um, I could have that question on the screen, not from the app, but from the device so they can't see the correct answer. I can then press scan now. And I've got them laid out in front of me, but imagine the learners holding them up. You see, we're not taking pictures, so there's no issue of pictures being taken of the learners. And then if I go tick, I can see a summary of who's answered what. So really nice way of checking. Because the markings are so small, it's possible for the learners to hold the cards up and answer without their peers knowing what it is they're answering. So it's a great way of checking learning, um, especially at the start of the year when learners maybe are slightly embarrassed about putting their hand up to ask a question or to say they don't understand. So there you have it, a quick go at using both the web interface to set up your cards and add your questions, and then the app to scan the cards and get your feedback from your learners. Hope you found that useful. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon.